Hey guys, it's Wraith here. So we've been getting some questions about Everdark, and I thought I would answer some of them for you. But you can also leave questions in the comments on YouTube, and we'll be sure to answer those as well, either in the comments or I'll do another fact like this one. But let's get started. So the first question I've got is, how did you get partnered with voice actors? Well, the snarky way to answer that is we went out and hired them. It works just like the manga because that's the way we do things. We decide what we want to create and we hire people to make it happen. Uh, the actors are definitely our creative partners in this process because they all had decided they wanted to do it. It's 147 chapters, uh, 70 to 80 hours of finished audio, which means that it's about... 700 hours of work to get in there to get those per finished hours and also i had worked with them before so her grace reads was is working with me or will be working with me again on sinners and ashes and i reached out to them because i'd had such an amazing experience with working with them and they were at the professional and creative level that i wanted for everdark but they aren't working for free, you guys, or royalty share or some future share of the profits. We pay them up front. And this is the way we do all our projects. When we want to make something, we work out a budget. We think, can we afford this? And are we likely to make our money back? And we go from there. So this is something where we're literally hiring the best people we can hire. And they're coming in with all their wonderful skills. But it's been, I mean, it's a lot of fun. And I had to have a certain level of trust with this production company. But it's not a friend thing they're doing this for. It's a literal work thing. Although they're going above and beyond anything we are paying them for because they really believe in the project. And they are just generous people like that. Okay, so here's another question. Is Everdark on Audible? No, it is not. It's exclusive to us. So you can buy it from our shop. Since I had the time to actually edit the story, I decided that I wanted to edit in ebook form, audiobook form, and hardback. And right now, the first volume that we've put together is available from our shop. This is the first 15 chapters. We anticipate that every volume will be 15 chapters because unlike a book series, Everdark is one long story and there's just no graceful way to cut it up. So we're just doing it based on the amount of material you're getting and what we would normally charge for that amount of material. And you'll be able to gradually buy each and every part of it if you so choose. Or if you sign up for a membership, you'll be able to stream it um, at way ahead of everyone else on the public podcast. So that's how we're doing that. But we're not going the Audible route. Just so you know, non-exclusive to Audible gives us only 20% of net profits. So if they sell you an audiobook for a credit, which is approximately $11.95, we would only get 20% of that, you know, down to like a, a few bucks versus now when you're giving us the tw full 25 for it, we are actually getting most of that money absent the cost that we get charged by the credit card company or PayPal. So that's how that works. So for us, it makes it much more profitable and considering the cost to put this together we need every single penny we can't give 80 percent of the profits to audible for simply just hosting it on their on their site it just it doesn't make sense okay so a third question is how often does the podcast comes out well there's two podcasts there is the public podcast which you may know if you are just watching this on youtube Spotify, iHeartRadio, and the podcast comes out once a week, normally on Thursdays. The members private podcast, so those who are members of WraithRain.com, they get the chapters in advance. We're uploading them in batches this time. So already when you're hearing this, they've got the first 15 chapters. And then in August of 2022, we'll start uploading a bunch more. So they'll be well ahead of the public podcast. So if you've ever thought, gee, I really want to support Wraith and the, and the team and the actors, the best way you can do that and reward yourself is to sign up as a member of Wraith Rain, and then you get to hear what happens next right now. 
when will members get more of Everdark podcast? So we're putting this out in July, August of 2022. So if you're listening to this at a later point, you know this already happened. Uh, we'll just we'll start uploading volume two in August, which is approximately chapters 16 through 33. Uh, chapter 16 comes out on October 13th on the public podcast, but members will get all of those once even before chapter 16 is out on YouTube and Spotify. So again, for those of you who are dying to know what happens next and who isn't, I even am listening to this and I wrote it and I'm like, what happens next? I need the next one. Why is the next one not up there? Um, you would get to hear what happens. Another question we've had, when will you have a new Everdark live stream with one of the actors? We're actually working on this. Ideally, we'd love to have one every month, but these actors actually are literally acting. They're in television shows and movies and they're doing audiobooks and they're doing all this stuff. So we're working with their schedules, but we're going to really make sure this happens. Uh, next one we want to do is with Adam Riley, who is playing Christian and Julian, and we hope that he'll be available in August to do a live stream. Um, I know everyone really wants Edward to come back as well, and I know that he said he would, but I think of all the actors in the bunch, he's probably the most busy, which I'm sure surprises none of you, but um, he's also got to do Cinders and Ashes for me, so he might be hiding from me. No, I'm only kidding. Um, I, am, I had such a blast talking with Edward last time, and I think we all had a really good time. Uh, you guys can tell me in the comments if you listened to that, if you enjoyed that, but I, I'm, it was such a good time. We definitely, by the way, want to have um, one a live stream in October and are working on scheduling that out with multiple of the actors because that's going to be the end of the first volume and it's vampire season. So hello, we have to have one in October, but we'll get back to you on dates for that. Another question is, why are you being so cautious about the sex chapters? Tons of people put up sexual content on YouTube and Spotify and don't get in trouble. And our answer would be, yeah. And we used to be one of those people who uploaded sexual contact content without getting in trouble until we did get in trouble. So it's in our history now. And any YouTube staff who looks at our content and sees that history will be more than likely to give us more strikes in the future than a first time offender. We got off with a warning, but because we're gay and YouTube staff can be not they're like sort of all staff out there they're a little biased against the gay content we're in a danger zone and legit you can read their tos to be very it's very broad on purpose it's broad and vague so you could drive a truck through that thing and uh you know you could they could say that you violated it as for the podcast going to like for example spotify and itunes and everything people are like well i thought that you know spotify was much more open to this sort of thing first i would remind you guys Gay content is not viewed the same as het content. It just isn't. There is a thumb on the scale in terms of whether they consider it um, obscene or not. Literally. That's just how this always is. Gay equals porn. That's how it goes. I can tell you that iTunes is especially um, prudish. And so we have one stream that goes to Spotify, iTunes, iHeartRadio, all of it. So even if for some reason Spotify was more generous in terms of what it views as violating its terms of service or not in terms of sexual content, that same podcast has to also meet the requirements of Apple. And the Apple terms of service, believes me, makes YouTubes look libertine. So we're just not going to risk getting um, shut down. And for those of you who cannot go and stream the members live stream, which is uncut and uncensored and has the full sex scenes. Yes, they're all being produced, by the way. And the audiobook that you purchase also has all the sex scenes and everything in it. It's all there. It's all been done. For those of you who can't, I want you to really think about this in this way. Would you rather have some of Everdark or none at all? Because if we get banned, we are done. We really are done. We really can't do anything. So we really can't risk losing our channel. That's sort of how, where we're at. So just to make sure it's completely and utterly clear, there will be absolutely no sensual content on the public podcast. None. 
not a whiff. It will be edited. You will know when it is gone because one of the actors, myself, Kat, somebody will tell you it is gone and that that material will only be available if you purchase a membership at Wraith Rain or if you purchase the audiobook, which is the one area that I can control. Next question is, and very on point, when are the first sex chapters appearing in Everdark? Are the actors recording those too, even if you can't publish them on the public podcast? The first sexual chapters do not start in, until volume two. Volume one, which is the first 15 chapters, are sexy, as you already know, if you listen to a bunch of these chapters between Damon and Julian, but there's nothing in there that would violate the TOS of anything. Uh, but when we get to volume two, there's a lot. And we're going to be starting to upload those chapters for members in August. They will also be uncensored in the audiobook, as I've said before. So the membership stream, if you become a member of Wraith Rain, you can listen to the uncensored content. And if you buy the audiobook, you can get the uncensored content. It will just not be in the public podcast. Another question is, when will volume two come out and how many chapters will it have? The full volume on WraithRain.com will be available by October 13th, 2022, and you'll be able to purchase it then. So members also can purchase the podcast for 10 bucks versus $25 for non-members. Um, Everdark, as I've said, is one long story. There's no graceful way to cut it into individual sections. So I've just decided to do it based on content size. So approximately 15 chapters of material which is about seven to eight hours of audio and to a 200 plus page book. What is the difference between the audiobook and the members only podcast? There isn't one. Uh, well, the content is exactly the same. The audiobook is downloadable though, and members can buy it for more than half off from the shop. So they get it again for $10 versus $25 if they wish, wish to. The members only podcast when you're a member of wraithrain.com is, is you're streaming it. They have all the chapters. They're completely uncensored. So you get all the sex scenes. You get everything in there. It's just a stream, but you can't download it there. You just, the audiobook is the thing that you can download and listen to offline. So I hope that explains things for a bunch of people. I know that we're going to get some people, as we did before when YouTube gave us that strike, who feel left out that they can't listen to the full audiobook and I do understand that but we are giving you as much as we possibly can for free but those scenes now we have to keep back we have no choice about it and I know that many of you have asked me many 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 times how you can support the podcast and us and make sure stuff like this happens buying a membership buying an audiobook Buying the ebook of Everdark really helps us out. As you all know, the actors don't work for free, um, and nor was the cost of editing for free, nor mastering for free. Nothing is for free, my friends. If it inspires you even a little to spend, you know, that $9.95 for a month of membership or that $25 for the audiobook or the $4.99 for the ebook that really goes towards offsetting that cost that we put into it to bring you these really amazing actors doing the story that I polished and worked on very hard. So it's a way to say to yourselves, well, I'm going to treat myself and I'm going to support the thing I love by purchasing this. I have gotten also questions about my live streaming Empire of Stars. The plan is this, and we're going to see if we can do it. I cannot do live readings of sex chapters anymore. There's just no way possible. Again, can't do it. So the question was, do I just not read those chapters at all? And, you know, you just go read them on the site, but I don't actually, you know, you don't listen to them. Or do I read them and put them up on the site and then members can go listen to them if they so desire? What we are leaning towards, if we can technically do it, is putting up a separate Empire of Stars stream on Wraith Rain, and it will be sort of the same deal that you have for the Everdark stream. You'll be able to hear the entire sex chapters and all this stuff, but they will not be 
on YouTube, Spotify, or anything. So if you want to listen to that, you're going to, again, have to sign up um, for the site. I really want to let you guys know we're doing the best we can to give you the most we can, but we are limited. So that is what we are doing now. I am sure you have more questions. Please, if you're listening to this on something other than YouTube, come to the YouTube channel and you know write your questions in the comments or email us and we will either answer your questions in the con comments below or we will do another fact. So we need to know what you don't understand or what you are hoping for and we love to hear it. Thanks guys. <laughs>